So we are given a displacement versus time graph and we need to find certain values. So first is we need to find the average velocity of the point during the time of motion. So some so don't get confused then don't take the time up to here because time of motion is only up to here. After that the displacement is constant which means the particle is not moving anymore it is at rest. So we need to find the average velocity up to this time. So average velocity is displacement upon time. Displacement is 2 meter and time is 20 seconds. We get the answer. Second, we need to find the maximum velocity, which means the, the slope of this displacement time graph should be maximum. And we can see that happens here. So this distance is 1 meter. The time taken is 4 seconds. So this slope will be 1 by 4, which is 25 centimeter per second. Now in third part, he is asking the moment t0 at which instantaneous velocity is equal to mean velocity. So instantaneous velocity is the slope of the displacement time and mean velocity is the total displacement divided by total time. So you can see that if you plot a tangent from the origin, then this distance L upon t. So this is the total displacement divided by total time that is v average l by t which is same as the slope on this point which is the instantaneous velocity so average velocity is l by 2 l by t which is tan theta and because it's a tangent also v instantaneous is equal to slope at point p which is also equal to tan theta so equate the two and we see that only happens when it's a tangent meets the origin. So what when it happens, it happens at time is equal to 16 seconds, which is our answer.